again. Last night it went down to 49 degrees here. He was very lethargic this morning. Oh, 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 easy does it, easy does it. So what do you do when you have a cold stunned reptile? You gotta bring them back up the temperature slowly. You don't quickly heat them up. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. Yeah, hey. What's going on, everyone? I'm trying to get out of the house. There's Max. He's still kicking. What's up, Max? You're an old cat, but I love you. Sometimes, when you're not vomiting on our bed or pooping in the shower. Uh, I don't know. He's a cat. He's old. He's the equivalent of a 92-year-old man. Not that they are pooping in the shower. Or maybe they are. I have no idea. I'll get there one day, hopefully. Um, here's what's going on. It's a bright blue sky, very sunny day. Um, but it's cold, man. It's only about shh, 60 degrees in Florida. I know you guys are going to laugh and say, ah, it's not cold. But last night it went down to 49 degrees here. And man, look at it. There he is. Thank goodness he's okay. There is Marty the Mertens monitor. Let's check him. What happened was he got out of his little house last night and went in the water. And when he did, uh, he was very lethargic this morning. Oh, 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 easy does it, easy does it. There he is, Marty. Come on, Marty, just chill out. He's so funny. This lizard squirms a lot, but he does not actually bite, which is really cool. Um, let's go, Marty. Come on. So there he is, Marty the Merton's water monitor. Um, and he looks fantastic. Thank goodness, because when I pulled him out of the water, even though the water temps are going to be warmer than the air, um, he was not uh, moving around too much and I was nervous. And so what do you do when you have a cold stunned reptile? A lot of times uh, turtles, like sea turtles, will wander into areas or they'll drift into currents that are very cold or they don't get further enough south and they get cold stunned and washed up on the beach or other times when you have captive reptiles, maybe a heater goes out. Um, anything can happen. You always have to be prepared. That's why I'm always out here checking things. But I went to bed and sure enough, he went out of his house. Uh, so I'm gonna be locking him in his house every night. I, I thought he would stay in. Anyhow, what do you do when you get a cold stunned animal? So here's the deal. Um, you got to bring them back up the temperature slowly. You don't quickly heat them up. Um, you want to get them into their shelter and just let them slowly come back to life. Uh, if you heat them up too quickly, you could really do some damage to them. And you can, oh my God, he almost got my face. You can uh, sometimes, um, you know, almost boil them alive or uh, quickly heat them up. So it's best to get them back up to temperature, um, you know, not, not drastically, just nice and steady look at him he's gonna whip me i really want this guy to get more friendly he is a beautiful lizard listen to him bluff oh, i'm so glad there's still a lot of fighting him now um you know a lot of people think that if they get cold they're instantly going to get a respiratory that's not true um if the animal's really healthy and it happened only once uh it's not a chronic situation where the temperatures are low then the animal will most likely be fine but if you keep your animals in suboptimal temperatures for a long period of time, that's when disease can creep in because their immune system wears down. So uh, right now though, he's looking good and I'm gonna check some other lizards because like I said, it has been cold. I came out here this morning and uh, found him. It's now mid afternoon and he's looking great. I uh, also wanna shout out to my friends in Australia. You guys are dealing with the worst drought going in your history and the fires are just incredible. This is an animal, of course, that is from Australia and uh, reports are saying up to a half a billion animals have been killed due to the crisis with these incredible fires that are happening. Now, I'm gonna be going to Australia in March um, and we are gonna go out in the bush and we are gonna look for reptiles. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to find some, but I'm sure that we're gonna see some damage from these fires. Hopefully, the fires will have uh, been put under control when I get there. Uh, it's just, man, my heart goes out to everyone in Australia. Um, so I hope you guys are doing okay. And if any of you guys feel um, obliged, why don't you go ahead and check out some of the different humanitarian and relief uh, donations you guys can make. There's a lot of ones out there. I don't know offhand where they are, but I know um, that there are some uh, 
funds being raised for the people and animals in uh, Australia. Uh, so let's check on everyone here. So I, I hope you guys are doing okay out there, man. You're, you're definitely in my thoughts. Australia is uh, in many ways a second home to me. I really love it there. All right, so here's Pinky. She's doing good. I like it. I like it. Very good, sweetheart. So there she is. And so all these boxes are heated. She's got a little bit of a wood chip buffer. And what she does is she'll dig down onto that heating pad. Um, but she's a good girl. So she's doing well. I'm not really worried about her. She is really smart, as are, in my opinion, the other water monitors, uh, Pinky uh, right here and Slinky across the way. They always go into their shelters every night. They seem to really understand that that is the base, best place for them to hang out. So they're looking good right now. Very pleased with that. Um, as you can imagine, you know, it is stressful uh, when it gets cool. I know there's been a lot of videos dealing with this this winter, um, but that's the reality, guys. You know what? I um, I bring it to you as it happens here. The rhino iguanas are out. They're very dark right now, so they're absorbing all that heat from the sun, the solar radiation. Uh, I'll bet you if I hit them with a thermometer, they would be in the 90s. So um, not worried about that. Like I said, it's just about 60 degrees. Hey, look who it is. Here's Slinky. I brought in these rhino iguanas last night because I knew it would be too cold and I don't have a heater in that cave yet. I had one, but it wasn't working well. So I just pull them in every night, uh, but they're staying in today because to be honest, I'm a little lazy. It happens from time to time. Look at who's coming out to say hello. All right, there's Slinks. He looks good, thank goodness. Uh, again, man, really smart lizard. Goes in here every single night. I shut the door. If you guys look in there, you can see I have a heating pad from a company called Stansfield Osborne Industries. Uh, if you Google Osborne Industries Stansfield heating pads, uh, you'll be able to choose from many different sizes. And those are really uh, a very good and powerful heating pad. Uh, powerful in the way that they're very, um, they're very strong you know, they can get banged around a lot. They use them for livestock. So of course a tortoise or a lizard like Slinky really won't do too much damage to them. Um, although some of my tortoises will, if you don't secure the cable, the cord, then you can potentially uh, lose power because they really do um, move them around. So I actually secure the whole entire heating pad and then so make sure the cord is also uh, kind of strapped down so the tortoises can't get a foot under it. Here's Lola. She's in the sun right now, and I bet you, let's just feel her. Yeah, look at this. It's amazing. You just see she turns her whole body to the sun. Look at that beautiful, I know, sweetheart, it's a little chilly, but you're doing good. You're nice and warm. So it's incredible because there's, you know, these animals are able to, they'll lay on the rock, which gets warm. They are dark, so they're absorbing all that heat. And they're able to raise their body temperatures even when the ambient temperatures are in the 60s. So very, very cool to see that going on. Um, Man, that's awesome. Let's see what uh, Guapo's doing. Let's pull this open. Oh, uh, there's Guaps. There he is. And we're using a ceramic heat emitter here. Um, and this, I'll tell you, just this one light fixture. Look at that, the cord came down off of there. See, that could be a problem. So let's, let's fix that. Because if the lizards accidentally pull it out during the evening, guess what? No more heat. All right, just stay. this is the sketchiest thing I have. This might be a guillotine here. You might see me get guillotined, friends. Um, all right, so this was just kind of a little bit of a ghetto job I did here. There we go. Very simple. All right, dude. Yeah, all right. Um, cool. Hold on. There we go. Plug it in. He's looking good. Love my lizard. Very, very nice. All right. Awesome. Uh, love you there, Guapo. You are truly the most handsome lizard I own. Oh, all right, you might even be the most handsome lizard in existence, but I'm prejudiced towards him. Pre prejudice? Is that the right? I may be prejudiced to other lizards. I don't know. I'm losing my mind today. All right, so Slinx is out and about. Rhinos are out and about. I'm leaving the Glops in. I'm leaving uh, some of the big animals in because, hey, why? Did I frighten you? I'm sorry, buddy. You had to slap my foot, huh? Go ahead, dude. Go see what's going on out there. Well, hey, 
look, here's the scoop. Really stoked that that Merton's water monitor is okay. Um, I love that animal. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Uh, one of our viewers, Gerard, uh, sent that to me. Or Jared, I always mess it up. It's J-E-R-R-O-D. I don't know if that's Gerard or Jared, but uh, I say it both ways to cover my butt. And um, yeah, lizard's okay. Happy about that. There's their cage. Here he is right now in the sun, doing what he's got to do to keep that body temperature going. And you don't worry, folks. I'm going to make sure that I get him in tonight, lock him in so there'll be no issues. It happens from time to time. Um, one night at about 49 degrees uh, probably wouldn't kill him. Uh, and thankfully he was in the water where the temps were more consistent. Um, but anyway, he's looking fine. So if you guys run into a situation where your animal gets caught in the cold and you are freaking out, take a step back, even though they may appear lifeless, okay? Bring them into your home, just let them get to room temperature and life will slowly creep back into them, then put them back in their enclosure and allow the heat to kind of go through their body and allow them to regulate themselves. All right, so that's what you should do. Uh, if you find an animal in the wild and it's cold stunned and you feel like helping out, you could bring it in. Uh, first, bring it into a garage or laundry room, let the animal's temperature come back up slowly, uh, and then you can maybe put a heat lamp on it after about an hour. Uh, and you see signs of life for that animal, but make sure that it's not something dangerous, okay? Like a rattlesnake or gator or something like that. Uh, be careful. Uh, all right, everyone, it's a beautiful day. Here are the cichlids, they're doing good. Why don't I just dunk you guys and that's how we're gonna say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching the channel. We're really excited about this brand new year. Lots gonna happen. Like and subscribe and enjoy some fish, which are tropical, but they're staying warm because we got the well water going. See you later.